Hi, I'd like, like to walk you through a couple of basic adjustments on handlebars and stem. So uh, something that, that happens frequently on bikes is that the handlebars get out of alignment, so the wheel is not aligned straight with the handlebars, and then the brake levers are not aligned on the handlebars. So come over here and I'll show you what this looks like. So this is a common thing that you see where the handlebars are not, uh, not in alignment with the wheel. Um, to, to adjust this is very easy. What most people try and do though is they try to they try to uh, loosen this lock nut here and this adjusts the headset bearings. This is not how you adjust the rotation of the handlebar. On a, on a quill stem like this, what you want to adjust is with this nut right here, this quill stem bolt. What you're gonna use, come over here, Meg. Uh, you're gonna use a six millimeter metric Allen key. Um, also the, helpful for this is a five millimeter Allen key. And then here is a two, two and a half, and three millimeter Allen key that we're gonna be using for something else. Okay, so the simple thing to do here is take your six millimeter Allen key. Most of these are six millimeter. You're gonna put it in this quill stem bolt right here. Now, I'm gonna stand over here and put the tire between my legs so I can have good control over this. And now I'm just gonna loosen this bolt. And you don't need to take it out, you're just gonna loosen it and it's gonna come, come free like this. Now, the stem is free to move up and down so you can adjust the height here. It's also free to rotate. So what we're gonna do is just center it. Now we're gonna tighten the bolt up just um, sort of finger tight. And now we're gonna make sure that it's that it's straight. So now I can still move it. We're gonna make sure that it is straight from the other end. It's very difficult to see from the tire end. Yes, it looks good. Now we're gonna tension this down. And you can put this pretty tight, maybe not as tight as you can go, but relatively tight is fine. Another common problem that you see is that uh, people are riding their bikes with their uh, their levers way high in the air like this, so maybe it's something where the handlebars came loose at some point, um, or these got bumped, but this is not a very good um, angle for your wrist. What you want to have is sort of a smooth bend where your fingers can sort of extend at a 45 degree angle downward to the brake lever, so these are too high. So almost all stems have one, two, or four attachment bolts on the front, so what we're going to do is use a five millimeter Allen key on this quill stem. Most of them are five or six. Now I'm just going to loosen this bolt here, you come from up this way. Loosen this bolt here, and I, I, I don't actually take it out, I'm just gonna loosen it. Now I'm gonna rotate this down and to a point where it's approximately 45 degrees and tighten it back up. And again, you wanna be relatively tight here, but not so tight that you feel like you're gonna break your tool or break, your, break the bolt. Okay, so now another thing that's happened here is come back over here, is that these levers have gotten out of alignment with each other. So you see that this one's up higher than this one. So almost all brake levers have, uh, for a flat bar, have a five millimeter bolt head at the bottom. So you can probably see it right under here. Come in close like this. Five millimeter bolt head right here. So what we're gonna do is insert the five millimeter metric Allen key there into the bolt head. Now this lever is free to rotate. So now you can just rotate the lever until it is even with the other at a comfortable position. Tighten the bolts. And now the levers are evenly uh, evenly matched and at a good angle. So on this bike, I actually I, uh, detached the brakes in order to show you this because of the um, with this style of cantilever brake, the position of the stem influences the brake cable. We'll adjust that later. Thanks.